yeah, basically a, some sort of DevOps approach to dealing uh, with MDT components. Uh, the only one for automation I have worked with is this PowerShell. Because every time you do something in MDT, no matter what that is, uh, from creating an offline media, uh, this question was about an offline media or ISOs, but it could be importing a sequence or could be even creating a folder, whatever you do in the workbench. So if I go to a good old MDT console here, where I have a deployment chair, and I want to create a new uh, folder here. Demo. In the end of that wizard, there is a view script button that will show you the, the PowerShell command from the MDT PowerShell module that was used to create that folder. So basically that what I would I would start working with if I needed to automate things related to uh, configurations here. I have not tried to integrate that with any sort of, of GitHub repository, but obviously you can use that for your scripts and store them there, but you can even invoke scripts on that, but I, I will start there. Maybe not the answer you were looking for, but that's, that's where I would start to automate things around MDT at the moment. Um, then there was a follow-up comment to the MDT automation. Uh, that was basically on version control of offline guises, uh, offline ISO file. Um, if you script the process, you can definitely apply versioning to the naming of the ISO file that, that generates, and you can keep an archive of those. Um, so that, that would be doable because the ISO files that are here for uh, media, uh, you can just generate more of them and each media property will have a, a name of an ISO file that you can configure. And this is all part of the XML files in the control folder for the media here. And that you can edit through PowerShell also. <clears throat> and you don't even need to create new media, you can just go in and change this value to the next version. So, so that would work. I'm not sure if this one here is written into the media. I think this is just visible in the UI, but this obviously is part of the name in the media. Um, technically, you can add in extra files. Uh, you can uh, put in a folder here to add like a version text file into the media. So when you open the ISO file, you will see the version there. So maybe something like that could be helpful to keep uh, version control of your different media. Config man is a little bit better that way because it allows you to put a, uh, basically a date stamp, a best before date on media. And if you try to use an older media, it will warn you and say, hey, uh, this is too old. <clears throat> 